Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video, I showed you how to create a model on Vue.js using the dialog HTML element. And on Vue.js, if we search for a ref on component, uh, I'm going to zoom it a little bit here. And yeah, here we have an example. We are on the parent here create a constant child and then on the child component we add this ref child and from the child then we can define expose any constant we want on react on the other hand because i'm going to create the same thing using react if we search for a ref we have this forward ref so forward ref lets your component expose a DOM node to a parent component with a ref. So on with this forward ref, we can expose the dialog to the parent, for example. And we have an example here. So let me show you. Okay, so here we have the child and the parent down there. So the form is the parent and the, my input is a child. Now on child, we import the forward ref. We use that forward ref, pass in a function, props, and also the ref. We need to pass the ref on the forward ref. And then on the parent, we create a constant ref using the use ref. And we can access, so on the child, we add that ref passing this ref constant, and, and we can access input focus as you can see in this case here using the ref dot current dot focus now let's uh, open the terminal here let's cd the word and let's say i'm going to use ban but you can use any npm or pnpm what you like okay so i'm going to say ban create with add latest hit enter and now I'm going to name it a react dash dialog hit enter choose react choose typescript and then we need to cd to react dialog and around the ban install okay I'm going to open this with a VS code and also, let me just open the title in CSS, play CDN, and I'm going to copy just the CDN here. And let's close this. Now let's open the VS Code. Let's zoom it. Let's go to index HTML, and here I'm going to paste that in. Let's save and let's close. Now the first thing, go to source directory and create a new folder for components. And here a new file, then I'm going to name it dialog.dsx. We are using TypeScript. If you don't want to use TypeScript, you can say JSX, no problem. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to import this forward wrap and create a constant, a component with that. So I'm going to import the forward ref from react and then let's say a constant i'm going to name dialog and let's close this one we need to return something and also we need to export the dialog here okay First thing, we have here the forward ref unknown. And because we use a TypeScript, let's create an interface, dialog props. I'm going to name it, but you can name it what you like. And I'm going to say children, not any. Children is going to be, first I'm going to add optional and it's going to be a React node. Okay. And also, I'm going to create a type for the ref. So let's say dialog ref, which is going to be not 
HTML div element, but it's going to be HTML dialog element like this and now let's add types here so dialog breath and dialog props okay now we don't have underline error here but we have here yeah because this one is a div and now we need to transform that to dialog now we don't have any error we are okay. We have added the ref here. Road. Remove this road. Let's add some classes also. Not a modal dialog. So I'm going to say, uh, let's say rounded first. Rounded to be MD, BG, white, shadow, and also without padding of, uh, oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to leave it like this. Let's save and let's open the app.tsx. TSX and let's close this and from here for now I'm going to remove everything so let me select everything and remove and what I'm going to do I'm going to add the dialog component and here we let's add this hello world for now Okay, also I'm going to specify a last name to be text uh, black. For example, let's save and let's run the band and that. Okay, let's open the project in here. So localhost, when well, yeah, is the project, but what we want is to go to dialog and just uh, add here the open attribute show the dialog here is the dialog okay now on the example here on the parent we need to create a constant and use use ref and then we can add on the child the ref passing that constant and we can access the dom of that child component using this ref current okay so let's do that let's go to app.tsx and here I'm going to create a constant and I'm going to name it, uh, let's name it dialog the same as on Vue.js dialog target, which is going to be equal with use ref from React. And yeah, this is going to be HTML dialog element. And initially it's going to be null. So let's say also here null. And on the dialog, now let's add a ref here, passing the dialog target. Okay, good. Now, because we can access that uh, element on the parent, I'm going to create on the parent two methods. So let's create constant, and I'm going to say show uh, dialog. And here, what I'm going to do is say dialog target dot current. And here I'm going to add a question mark because this may be a null. Okay. And then call the show model. And also let's create a constant or close the dialog. And we are okay. Now here, let's create a button and see button on click. We call this show dialog and also inside here, I'm going to copy and paste that in. On click, we are going to call the close dialog. And also we can say close dialog here. Just let me add some classes. So let's say class name to be px3, py2, and bg indigo 600 on hover is going to be bg indigo 700 and also let's say just around it okay and i'm going to do the same thing on this one and let's say 
maybe it's only a little bit out. So here we have the return. We added a button. And on this button, I added on click event. And here we are going to call this show dialog. And then inside the dialog, we have added this paragraph and on button and a button. And on click of this one, we call the close dialog. Now on the dialog, I'm going to remove this and say now let's see come here a refresh i'm going to open also the inspect elements and open the console and let me zoom it the console okay if i click on show dialog yeah here we have and we have also the button to close the dialog close open if i click escape uh here is going to close and as we can see it's going to I'm going to close this and refresh right now if I click tab it's going to focus the button hit enter is focused the button inside the model now and if I click tab again it's focused the URL here if I click again focus this tab and again the URL and again the tab so it's not focused the button in here now if i click enter of course it's going to close that okay but what if i want to click outside nothing happened if i click inside nothing happened if i click the button it's going to close that okay now let's uh, fix that first of all i'm going to come here and when we have this p tag i'm going to make this h1 and class i'm going to say text to be 3 xl okay and maybe uh, I'm going to add also padding of 2 and margin bottom of 4 yeah now we are okay okay now let's make the logic that when we click outside the close the dialog and we're going to do the same thing we have done also on the Vue.js so I'm going on dialog I'm going to add on click event and let's call the close from event okay we don't have that so let's create that method constant create a close from event and now we're going to check if event target is equal with event current target yeah we have these props ref current close but as we can see we have another line here because property ref does not exist on type dialog props any and instead of this one what I'm going to do I'm going to add from a from a parent prop here and I'm going to say close and this is going to be equal with the close dialog method here okay and then on the dialog on the interface first let's define the clause which is going to be a function which return void and then here when we pass the props i'm going to destruct them and say children and also close and then here just call the clause method also on props we just say children and we have an underline error here because it's not assignable to type most event handler from HTML dialog so let's fix also that one here I'm going to say create another type which is going to be uh, event type I'm going to name and this one is going to be equal with react mouse event HTML dialog element and then let, let's use that event type here now we don't have any error underline error and uh, I think we are okay so 
we have created the interface and we define the children and the close function create a type for dialograph and event type and then destruct here the children and the close create this method the close from event when we click in here pass in ref and also children and i think we are very good let's go to app.ts here we have imported the dialog and the use ref create a consent using that use ref here and then we pass that dialog target on the dialog component and also we pass the close dialog down there as a close prop and when you click on this button on click of that we call this show dialog which is going to trigger the dialog target dot current show model and when we close we use the close dialog also we can use the same thing we have done on the UGS so we can use a form with a method to be dialog and then just add the button that is okay so come here and refresh show the dialog pause the dialog show the dialog click outside works show the dialog click escape key works and also if i click the tab is focused the link if i click tab again the button click tab again the link click tab again the button click enter is closing the dialog okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you the same thing i have done also with the vue.js now just let me show you the two components we have only two components here because i'm not going to create a github repository for that so here is the dialog component we have imported an interface so you can pause the video and copy the code and then on the app here we have import and the function and that's it all about this project now don't forget friends if you like such a videos subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends because it's going to help me to rank on youtube and see you in the next one all the best